500 miles. 500 miles before the border closes. Two days we got to cross the border. If the border doesn't close on us. Yeah, if we don't make it in the next 24, less than 24 hours, yep. we're screwed. The glacier is still white, but the leaves are changing. We're on borrowed time. Oh my goodness, look at the fuel, 520 a gallon. It's 600 feet on That's expensive. One. That is expensive. Yeah, I think we'll pass. Yeah, how are we doing? <laughs> Half, Half tank. tank. Which way, Valdez or Fairbanks? Or Canada? Fairbanks and Canada. All right. September 4th, scheduled road closure. Did it say September 4th? I feel like we've taken a wrong turn. We've ended up now in Toke again for the fourth time. How does this happen? Well, we keep changing our plans. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, we did. And it's a pretty epic change. <laughs> we'll go into it after the intro. Let's roll it. this summer we are leaving Toke. We're not coming back. Yay! <laughs> we are... That's not in a bad way by the no, way. No, it's not. It's, it's like this was what our fourth time through. That's right. I think four times is enough. We're going to take a left on the Taylor Highway. We're actually going to get up into the Yukon into Dawson City if the border doesn't close on us. Yeah, so this is the first time that we've been under a really tight time constraint. Yeah. And if we don't make it in the next 24, less than 24 hours, yep. we're screwed. Yeah, they close the border. That means we got to turn around and come we got to come back. all the way back. We've been going through Destruction Bay again. Yeah, for the fourth, fourth time. time. We don't want to do that. No. Hopefully we cross the okay. border uh, into Canada, go to Dawson City, and then this is the change in our plans. We want to go up to Tuck on the Dempster Highway. We want to camp on the Arctic Ocean. Yeah. So, so get those shot glasses out. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they, close, they start closing stuff the middle of September. Yeah. This is September 2nd. They works no, the third. It's a third. Today's a yeah. third. Yeah. Because we got to cross over on the fourth. They close yes. on the fourth. So they start closing stuff on the fifteenth or sixteenth mm -hmm. up there in Tuck. So we want to get up there beforehand. Yeah. Spend a couple of days on the uh, Arctic Ocean. Yeah. No guarantees that I won't be <laughs> saying that again. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to head back down the Dempster, mm -hmm. and then we're going to head home. At that point, we will be. Yeah. finishing with the Alaska trip right. because uh, of, for the summer. Right, because we do have to cross over Canada no later than October 1st, which is Canadian law. So we have to be out of Canada by then. Yeah, and that has to do with snow and yeah, just tires weather and, and stuff, stuff like, like that. that. Yeah. 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 So that's, uh, that's the new plan, and that's where we're heading right now. And fingers crossed that we, uh, that we get up there. Let's see how it goes. Why don't you guys come along with us? Hey, Dawson City, 165 miles. On the Taylor Highway. Canada 9. Goodbye, Destruction Bay. Hope to not see you again this trip. <laughs> Lunch on the road is always nice. But what's wrong no, with this sandwich? That. It's ugly. <laughs> you know, if it was sliced like this way and the bread was turned around, but that's weird. Taylor Creek 
bridge is closed. Oh. So this is where they're going to close it. Uh, they're going to redo it. Oh my. They need to. So I got up this morning almost midway on the Taylor Highway going to Chicken. Uh -huh. The first half of the road is not bad. No. It's Pot actually holes. pretty nice. The second half of the road not all that great. Which we're on right now. So yes. if the camera is bumping, that's why. Yeah, but Sauter made a comment this morning. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> we lose an hour. Yeah, Canada is on Pacific time, not Alaska time. We've already lost an hour and we yeah. didn't even get started. So I'm hoping yeah, we've so. driven all this way and we'll make it in time before yeah, it closes. With this rough road, we're averaging about 13 miles an hour on the gravel and right now about 20, 25. And we've got, I don't know what, 50 or 100 miles to go. So Yeah, I, I hope we haven't driven this road in vain. I hope we make it. Yeah, it's, it's going to be tight. All right, we made it to Chicken. We don't have time to explore this area because we have got to get across the border. We have got to get um, there. I am not driving back. No. Oh, this area's closed. Yeah. Man. Oh my. What? Wow, it's closed. Are they closed for the season? Yeah. Closed. Do not enter. Okay. All right. Well, that made the decision for us. That's right. We must go on. So it's September 4th and we still have four more weeks left, but we're getting towards the end of our trip. Is this going to be a repeat of our, the beginning of our trip the first month where everything's <laughs> going to be closing down? Yeah, we're going to be right up against it again, except on the other end. Yeah, yeah so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what is left open. Yeah. You could say that we are maximizing our trip though. We are catching it on the beginning when they're just opening and on the end when they're just closing. Yeah. So the 80 miles or so getting to the border on top of the world and on Taylor Highway is okay to kind of not so great. It's crappy. <laughs> but the last nine miles to the Canadian border are paved and really nice. So I think they're letting you leave Alaska with a good taste in your mouth. Yeah. We're leaving. <laughs> that's true. Well, that's we are sad. leaving Alaska. We are done with Alaska. Done. Oh, that's sad. Done. No, that's sad to leave. It is. Great state. A lot of fun. But our trip's not over. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. We don't think it is. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Made it. Yeah, that was a little bit too close to call for me. Three hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a few hours to spare. So, made it across. Yeah. Uh, this guy was real nice, uh, very businesslike. Yes. But it was basically anyone else on board? Pets. Pets. Firearms. Firearms and ammunition. That was it. And then, uh, and then oh. anything to sell, sell or give away in Canada. That's right. And uh, we said, no, we want to keep it all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heading to Dawson City now. It's, uh, well, I won't say clear sailing, but at least we're in the country we need to be in. Yes. the road isn't good, but the views are always nice on top of the world. So we came down the hill on the other side of the Yukon River from top of the world and we saw Dawson City. Really nice uh, town. Uh, the heart of the gold rush for the Yukon back in the 1800s. Uh, so we pulled up to the ferry and uh, got on. I'd forgotten uh, how small the ferry boats are. Well, <laughs> we're on another ferry and 
uh, we weren't expecting to get on like right away. So David is going to launch the drone from the hood of the <laughs> yeah. of Curiosity. Oh, I think we're going. And we're off. Where's the drone? Oh, I took off already. Did you really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So this is a free ferry that crosses the Yukon River from Top of the World Highway to Dawson City. It's hard to believe that we were on this rig back in 2017 with the with our HDT and we literally took up this entire ferry. But there's Dawson City. Mining town, Yukon, part of the big old Yukon. And kind of, oh my, we're kind of like drifting now. Went across the river, uh, got on the other side. Sandra did a great job of driving. And we got uh, through downtown uh, Dawson City. Be nice if we could spend more time here. But the north calls us and we must go. For the next 28 days, none of this, none of this, and probably definitely none of this. Are you ready for this? You said 20 days, not 28. Oops. So just so you know, I just came from the office. It is, this campground is shutting down completely next week. Everything is shutting down. Canada, Alaska, the whole world is shutting down. <laughs> the whole world can't be shutting down. Well, it sure does seem like it. <laughs> Maybe that's because we're so far north. And what are we doing? Yeah, we're going further, further north. north. So we're gonna go up on the Dempster. It's only about 520 miles of terrible roads <laughs> mccarthy roads hopefully not as bad as mccarthy that would be yeah, just bad. terrible it's gonna be that bad we've heard dempster's beautiful mm -hmm. it's a it's a different uh a kind of a beauty than say the dalton mm -hmm. but i don't know we just i feel like we have to do it you have an itch you need to scratch <laughs> i do and it gives me an opportunity to spend more time in the arctic <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> so we're leaving the Jeep here at the Dawson City um, Visitor Center. We did check at the campground. They wanted $20 a night and here it's free. So David and I are getting ready to do something pretty stupid. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be success. It's either going to be a success or an epic fail. So we're going to try and pull the bikes out and the whole assembly on the rack. Pull it out of the hitch and then carry it over here and slide it on the hitch. And how much do these things weigh? Well, so each one's uh, about uh, 55, 60 pounds. So the whole thing's gonna weigh? About, uh, let's see, one, about 150, about 160 pounds. <laughs> it's only because the camera was rolling <laughs> that that actually worked. I can't believe that. Goodbye, Artemis. <laughs> Again. Again. We'll see you in about 20 days. Oh, we are. Man. So, this is the last road that we want to conquer. The Dempster. Oof. Do you want to stop and get fuel? Yeah, I think I might top off. Are you serious? I think I might. You're kidding, right? <laughs> We've only driven 20 miles. I know, but it's still 20 miles. So are you worried? No, I'm just making sure that I don't have to worry. I'm not sure why we're doing this. I think we're committed to we, trying it. We need, we need to be committed. <laughs> we might need to be committed after this. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it is the last of the big roads. Uh, we decided as we got up here in Alaska that we wanted to try this one. So we're going to try it. And 
we have to be back in no more than about 20 days, 19 yeah. days. So, uh, yeah, well, I'm, you know, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I've never been on this road before. No, and unfortunately, I joined a couple of Facebook groups a couple of months ago, and I've been reading up on it. And there's been road closures, forest fires, but now the forest fires are gone, yep. or wildfires, and now they've been having rain and mud and it's the super fine dust and that fine dust has now turned into a wet slippery slurry and people are running off the road into ditches and so why are we going oh and there's no dump and fill that we can see oh that's true and um, very little propane up there if yeah any. yeah so and it's in september things are starting to close everything's in starting to close down yeah, yeah so, so so why are we doing this? Uh, you know, because <laughs> it's there, and we're here, and why not? Why not? So we're all fueled up, and we could have gone to the dumpster over there, but then we can't say we completed the whole dumpster. <laughs> oh, we must be able to we say that. Be missing a hundred meters. <laughs> so we're gonna come back out on this road. <laughs> And make almost a U-turn. Onto the dumpster. No. Dun dun dun. Here we go. Dumpster highway. Look at that skinny little bridge. Are we gonna be able to fit? Yeah. It's like welcome. <laughs> are open. It is serviced until October 2nd. <gasps> Dang, what was that? That was our uh, jack. Stabilizer jack. Oh, lovely. This one looks pretty good. It's fairly level. It's long. It's next to the toilets, the wood, the trash. You want to try this? Let's try this one. Okay. That sounds good. Some very nice camper left us some chopped firewood. So we're going to have to replenish it, but wasn't that nice so we just get things going? That was very nice. So, a friend of ours, he likes to warm up his wood on the grate, so we're using Dan's idea here. So this campground has really nice long sites, but also nice tent sites too. Tent oh, pads. They're nice. You look like a lumberjack with that hat. And your jacket. flannel jacket and your axe. Or what's that, a mall? It's a mall. So day one on the Dempster is in the books. Yeah, love Yukon Campground. <laughs> they are the best. They are. And so our uh, feeling on the first about 70 miles that we've done today, yep. the first like 40, 35 was actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, relatively smooth. Yeah. It was. It's all gravel and yeah, you were mud. Yeah, you're averaging about 45, 50 miles an hour. Yeah. And then the last, the last 20, 20 miles, you were averaging about 15 to 20. Yeah, a lot of potholes. Yeah. Some uh, cobblestoning. Yeah, some cobblestoning. A little bit of washboarding, not much at all, but a lot of potholes, potholes. that you got to avoid. But so. it's, it's dirt potholes and not asphalt potholes. Yes. So they're not sharp. They're more just yeah. really bouncy. There's no asphalt on the Dempster so far. No. But. Uh, it was a good day. Yeah, we're Did, starting to see some views. I mean, the views yeah. are getting prettier as we go further north. And really the nice. The colors are starting to change. We'll head out tomorrow and we'll see what day two brings. But uh, so far, day one on the Dempster was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Conserving our resources, everything might be closed here in the next week or so. Sandra is thawing out the salmon on the fire grate and then we will cook it 
on the grate. I'm gonna roast it in butter and lemon. Nice. Oh, with yeah. potatoes. And this is my first rodeo, so I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> so we do grill a lot, but I've never cooked anything on an open fire except for corn. So this is new for me. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but hopefully I'm going in the right direction. So I've taken the salmon on heavy duty foil and I already had these potatoes cooked. So I went ahead and squeezed some fresh uh, lemons and froze it. Um, I've got everything mixed together and I'm gonna wrap it up and put it on the fire and see what happens. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be sizzling like this, so. <laughs> the big reveal. Cook this for about 10 minutes. And it looks pretty good. Well, really good. Is it really? It's delicious. Oh. Salmon's cooked perfectly and the potatoes are really done nicely. Mm -hmm. Frontier cooking, man. Oh, yeah, my first time. We Up might in be... the Yukon. <laughs> Near the Arctic Circle. <laughs> yes. So it was cold last night, actually it was 33, but that was not there yesterday. That is snow up on top and that's coming down a few thousand feet, so that is new. And we're heading north. quite have the visibility out of your window. No, I've got to roll it down. Oh, and that'd make it even worse. Yes, it would. One thing we noticed right off the bat is on the Dalton, you've got to wait like a day or so mm -hmm. to get some really yeah. good view. The Dempster kind of hits you from the beginning. It does. And within the first, I'll say 70 miles. So oh, easy. Yeah. I mean, five or three, yeah. you are treated to some really uh, spectacular views. views. And I think it's helping because this is fall. I mean, they are getting close to the peak of fall and the colors are just gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I mean, just spectacular. Yeah, just, you've got, wow. you got colors and you've got the, the mountain ranges, which are, are really neat. And even though we've got some clouds today, snow, the snow that's actually kind of accentuating some of the features. And the road was good for a little bit, <laughs> and now it's kind of gone back to what it was. <laughs> but still not bad. Not bad. In the middle of nowhere. Not sure what there is here that would warrant a runway. Oh, these is, gorgeous views. There is a plane sitting there. Yes, there is. It's like two planes. Wow. by driving by it looks kind of full. Yes, my fear. Make a U-turn if possible and then turn right in 810 feet. 
Oh, there's a site right there, David. Yeah, no, there's a guy right behind me. Said, so, you want me to go out and look, and we yeah. just pull straight in if we needed to. Mm -hmm. We are at Engineer Creek in the Yukon, day number two. That's right. And overall, roads were not bad. Yukon, we love their free firewood, but you got you snagged the last piece out of the woodshed. Yeah, they were a little skimpy today. I think uh, they've had a run on firewood, and this one's a little bigger than normal. So it's probably been in there for a while. It, yes. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> Whoa, look at you. We are going simple tonight. I made some chili ahead of time and I have it, uh, froze it in this quartzite Ziploc bag. And then I thawed it out last night. And then I also made some homemade cornbread um, with jalapenos and roasted corn. And so I'm just gonna, since this is already thawed out, all I have to do is squeeze it in the bowl, warm it up, and then we're good to go in about two minutes. Oh, there's some flags over there. What's that say? It says pre-collision assist not available, sensor blocked, front camera, low visibility, clean screen. So is it going to start yelling at you till you clean it? Yes, leaving the uh, warning sign up there until I uh, until oh, I do it something is. about it. Well, I'm trying to do something about it. We're going downhill. <laughs> We're trying to get out of the cloud bank here. That's funny. That is funny. So it can't sense anything. No, because of the we're in the clouds. <laughs> I can't sense anything either because we're in the clouds. You know, this vehicle needs to have an Alaska mode. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just switch to Alaska mode and it goes, oh, okay, yeah, I'm just going to turn myself off because I'm no good now. <laughs> So, looks like someone lost a bracket for a truck camper that holds it to the truck. Because that was a big pothole that we just avoided. Oh, yeah. Is it cold out there? Yes. 38 <laughs> degrees. Yeah. Eagle Plains. Oh my goodness, this wildfire got really close to us. Really close, wow. So this is the... Is this the town? This is the town of Eagle Plains. Don't blink, you would miss it. <laughs> nice uh, view down into the it valley is. though. Wow, wow, you can really see the waves from the wildfires yeah. and everything. It's really pretty. It is. Look at all those fuel tanks. Okay, well there's a tire place. Yeah. And I'm thinking the hotel is there. The campground must be near it. The snow plows are out and ready. <laughs> is that a good sign? I don't know. Is this the visitor center of the hotel? I can't tell. Usually visitor centers are brown. There's a brown building over there. Yeah, because I think it closes closed September 1st. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, you know, we can't visit it anyhow. 400 but. feet, turn left on Jepster Highway, Highway 5. So the striped building is the hotel with the Canadian flags. Yeah. I shall get out and procure. All right. So yeah. is this going to be a commercial Go. campground? Yes. Or is this, okay, so not... Not yeah, a Yukon government. There's not a Yukon one in this area. Oh, okay. uh, we'd have to go another 40, 50 miles, I think. Mm -hmm. 30 miles, yeah. So so I'll go in here and check. But before I do that, I'm going to get something on. It's 52 degrees outside. Yeah. Well, 
the restaurant's open from 7.30 to 1 p.m. 7.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Okay. The bar is open from 4.30 until 10 p.m. tonight. Check-in is at 4 p.m. There is no one there until those hours. Yes. The uh, campground, we can go ahead yeah. and go to the campground and then come back here. To check in. To check in. So I think we'll get some fuel first. Okay. And since we got some time. This is just mud. I mean, there's there's not even gravel. Yeah. This is making me appreciate gravel. So there's the <laughs> diesel pump there. Looks like high flow. Yeah, that's what looks it looks like. like. So I have to turn around. Well, that's an interesting diesel pump. How in the world? Oh, this should be interesting. It's not self-serve. These guys do it for you, which is nice. That's nice. Yeah. Because I don't know if I'd want to try and operate that thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, it's little different. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. Eagle Plains Campground and RV Park. Yes. Register at the front desk, but not before 4 p.m. That is correct. And Oh, we get the pick of the litter. Here is the campground. <laughs> <laughs> Just one big open, uh, yeah, parking lot. So, where, oh where, do we want to park it? I don't know. Look at the amenities. They have a grill. A grill and a picnic bench. Mm -hmm. It can be out in the open. Do you get to choose? You get to choose. I mean, like, do you pay the same price whether it's power or oh, I'm sure not I'm sure power is more yeah yeah so I'm gonna get out and walk around a little bit and see what okay. is going on day three on the Dempster we are at Eagle Plains right now and we are going to stay for the night uh, it was about a 120 mile day today so not too bad the roads today were, man, they were a little bit of, a, of the extremes. Uh, we had really good roads that I could do like 40, maybe even 45 miles an hour. And then we had really bad roads. It was like 15 miles an hour. So uh, we kind of had the, the extremes there. It took us about uh, six hours, five and a half to get to Eagle Plains, about 120 miles. So not too bad. Leave in the morning and head on up uh, towards uh, the Arctic Circle. So water is not super easy to come by on the Dempster. So when you find it, you need to top off. And we found it here on the, next to the shower area. So we're gonna get a little bit of water.
All right, we made it. Again. Again to the Arctic Circle. But now we're in Canada. That's right, and we're gonna go further north because we wanna camp on the Arctic Ocean. That's right. <laughs> We've already dipped our toes in it, but now we wanna come back and camp in it. That's right, so being up in the Arctic again is so cool. <laughs> Get it, kinda cool. I mean, I cannot articulate. <laughs> How neat this is to do this again. <laughs> Got 20 days of this, folks. 20 days. Oh, they're going to be coming at you, too. We've got to uh, keep on heading north because we've got uh, 250, mm -hmm. something like that. And uh, before we hit the ocean, and then we have to stop. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to bring you guys along and uh, we'll see what this beautiful uh, country's like. <laughs> 